I'm peeing now. What are you on, morphine? Let's get on with this movie review. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pull stop. In stop. Before you get into this, it's a comedy stuff. It is a comedy. What else is more important to know to tell the people that watch? It's a cancer comedy? <laughs> no, it's based on someone's life. It's based uh, on someone's story. Yeah. That being said, what do you think of the drama or the, the story of this movie? You know what? It is such a serious subject. I know people that have had cancer and have come out of it. I have to say, before you go any further, I don't. I, don't, I, haven't, had, I haven't been touched by anybody who has had cancer. Yeah. So I'm going in from a different perspective than I think most people that went to this movie would have. Yeah. So for me, um, yeah, with that in mind, you know, I know, I know feelings that go through people when you get diagnosed and you know I know relationships change and because they have to right and that's what I loved about this movie right like this was this was real the, yeah it was real it was like this internal battle right it, it's just real real terms like real life they didn't serious this candy is, coat yes. this thing well, we'll be serious the word of the day is going to be real because r-e-a-l real not r-e-e-l as in movie real the dynamic duo I guess right Seth Rogen and Joseph Gordon Levitt, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're essential, right? Because, you know, these, they went together, they went through it together, right? It's coming from a guy's perspective, right? And so for guys out there that want to see this movie, I think, I think you'd really enjoy it, right? And I've never done it before. Compare the movies, man movies such as Braveheart or, you know, The Godfather, like up there. But this movie isn't like in the same category, the same type of, you know, but it is, I'm, I want to say man movie. You can go to this movie, you can feel something. I guess most guys who go to movies don't really feel anything. I'm well, an action junkie too, so I understand that. But I think because it's so real, right? And it's like, you know, we're just as susceptible of uh, getting cancer to any woman, any, you know, we're all, this is something that can affect anyone and everyone. And most people you know, you'll have, it's like, you know, six degrees of bacon. I know that's a horrible whatever reference, but it's like, that's how much cancer has affected society's life. Uh, I wanted to talk on the actors in this movie. So, yes. starting off, main actor, um, what did you think of him? Joseph, I've actually always really liked him as an actor. Um, I will say without a doubt, I think this That's is... Where I'll actually, I'll actually disagree at that point. I don't think I've always liked him as an actor. What he's given to the, the main screen, like his characters or whatever he's done, hasn't been, you know, spotlight for me. Like, he's not, like, in my mind, like a, uh, I don't know, Super Morgan star. Freeman. Yeah, right. like a superstar, really. I'm going to say I, I thought it was the best role he's ever done. A heartfelt performance. Um, there's points when he has to break down, and there's points when he has to pick himself up. And then I'm surprised for the producers from Superbad. You know, that's who produces movie. Could do <laughs> such a good job of not taking it way over the line. Because it's a serious subject of making F going over making the line. Making a Pineapple Express type yes. movie. Because that's what I was thinking it might become, too. And... Uh, Seth Rogen's character is exactly the same thing he always does, the Pineapple Express, the knocked up character, you know, he's nothing different, you nothing annoyed. out of the own, yeah, like, but he didn't go over the edge in this one, he didn't annoy me to the point where, you know, he's this major pothead or something, yeah. he is, in this movie, he's still that kind of funny guy, but, I don't know, maybe it's because he's giving me more of like a Monsters vs. Aliens type version of that. Yeah. Some of the humor is crude, like it's it's definitely, it can be humor either way, but that's why we said for a guys it's a good movie, because it's, I mean, some of it can be a little bit crude, but I think it's so real life. It's the right blend of of comedy, it's the right blend of emotion, you know. I guess the only other person we have to touch on in this movie for acting wise is... His girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. And if, if, she, if he if, could be. If she, if she ever watches this... You know. <laughs> Yeah. So, what's her name? You know her name? I don't. Know. Uh, I naturally give her my last name. <laughs> Anna Kendrick. Uh, very cute. Very cute. I just, I have to say. No, she does a good job in this movie. I really like her in this movie because most movies that she's in, she has um, a secondary character or a performance that's not main. In this movie, I don't think she's up there. But you know, well, she, she's, she does she's, perform at that level. She's essential to the plot. What I thought was great was their interaction, right? Mm -hmm. Their interaction together was key, right? And For the, comedy and for drama, both. Yeah. For review, for rating, how do you feel? 
I will give it a perfect five. And after the movie, I got out of the movie, I didn't have to think about it. Um, for me, it was that powerful. It was that moving. The characters that did that well of a job. So I give it a five. Man tears. Uh, even just the small little comedy pieces like the whale hands, or whatever it was, the walrus hands. Um, this movie, to me, gets a 4.5 out of 5. Walrus hands. <laughs> Man, yeah, walrus hands. Man, Man tears. tears. Um, so, 9.5. Out of a possible 10. Surprising man tears. Surprising man tears. I guess on to our next review. On to the next review.